Donald Trump lost the 2020 presidential elections popular vote by more than 7 million votes. Trump lost the Electoral College 232 to 306. Trump lost the 2020 presidential election. Trump lost the state of Oregon. Trump lost Washington. Trump lost California. Trump lost Nevada. Trump lost Arizona. Trump lost New Mexico. Trump lost Colorado. Trump lost Hawaii. Trump lost Minnesota. Trump lost Michigan. Trump lost Illinois. Trump lost Wisconsin. Trump lost Georgia. Trump lost Nebraska District 2. Trump lost Virginia. Trump lost Pennsylvania. Trump lost New York. Trump lost Maine District 1. Trump lost Washington, D.C. Trump lost Maryland. Trump lost Delaware. Trump lost New Jersey. Trump lost Connecticut. Trump lost Rhode Island. Trump lost Massachusetts. Trump lost Vermont. Trump lost New Hampshire. Trump lost the Electoral College 232 to 306. Trump lost the 2020 presidential election. What are Republicans doing? Well, I don't know. But I know a number of Republican members of Congress sought a pardon from the White House for inciting an insurrection. It's all about intimidation. That's how the left operates. And we've seen it play out now against the Supreme Court. But the good news is, finally, this bill's going to pass and give the justices of the highest court in our land the protection they and their families deserve. Let me tell you why it took us a few weeks rather than just one week to pass this legislation. It's because Republicans refuse to protect the families of Supreme Court employees who are at risk. Shame on you for not doing that. And by the way, there are threats to justices across the board. I support this legislation. I just note that recently there was an article in CNN titled, Justice Sonia Sotomayor was targeted by gunmen, federal judge tells 60 Minutes, dated February 19, 2021. Intimidation goes on both sides. The Republicans are misleading you. Supreme Court justices already have protection. Let me say that again. Supreme Court justices already have protection. This is about families of Supreme Court justices, which I support them having protection, and Democrats were fighting for families of law clerks, employees of Supreme Court. They should have protection too.